I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales. Welcome to Germany. I'm here at the 2024 Dusseldorf Boat Show, about to take my first walkthrough of the Serena 48. So let's go take a look. All right, so starting here on the swim platform, the first thing that I notice is this big open aft cockpit with these glass panels here, providing a big wide open space from the water into the aft cockpit and then into the salon of the boat, which is really unique. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, swim platform is hydraulic here, so great spot for your tender. Um, and then we've got a lazarette here. So this opens up and this one is set up as storage space, which is going to be probably the most popular arrangement for the U.S. So big open space there for paddle boards and the inflatable kayaks and different toys and great spot for any of those loose items um, that you want easily accessed here from the swim platform. And that has a watertight gasket in there and we'll go up in here to the aft cockpit. This space is fantastic. I love this seating arrangement back here. Very unique. Typically we just have a either a forward facing bench settee looking into the boat. Um, sometimes we'll have something looking aft but this dinette arrangement here with the table in the middle uh, allows for a really nice open space. I'm picturing sitting here with a glass of wine at the end of the evening and um, just enjoying uh, the scenery. Serena does a really nice job of letting the uh, environment come into the boat. The whole point of being out on the water is that, uh, you know, we're in some beautiful place, whether it's the Bahamas and the Caribbean or the Mediterranean. We want to let our surroundings uh, be beautiful inside the boat. We do have a passerelle here. Being a European boat, uh, very popular. We don't see those much in the US, but uh, we do have a passerelle there, as well as our side access doors here <clears throat> for easy access on and off uh, floating docks. Serena, known for its wide walkarounds, um, nothing different here on the 48. Really nice, safe walkarounds. You can see where it hits me right about uh, my thigh there. No concern for kids or dogs and whatnot as I'm walking up to the bow. And up here on the foredeck, we have this giant sun pad, it's humongous, and this forward facing seat, which I really love. This is a great place to be while at anchor. Again, enjoying our surroundings here. Really peaceful place up here on the bow. Stainless steel anchor, anchor roller, really nicely laid out with a little well uh, for that anchor chain there. And then coming in here, we have our foredeck anchor locker access. Huge, huge space down there per usual on Serena. Great spot for fenders and um, again, any uh, bigger loose items that we need to store up here on deck. You can see both sides, port and starboard, have these wide walkarounds. I've got plenty of room here. Again, no difference between port and starboard when we don't have an offset pilot house where we have to shimmy up one side, but easy to deploy our fenders and lines. We've got pop-up cleats right here, which are a really nice feature. Keep them flush for when we're underway and sleek. Serena with these wide walkarounds. It's just a very, very safe boat. Coming from the aft cockpit into the galley here, I've got this big wide open space. Those glass panels that I mentioned at the beginning provide this wide open uh, sensation from the salon through the galley out past the aft cockpit. So the boat feels, it's a 48, but it feels quite a bit bigger than that. So I've got my galley to port here, L-shaped galley. I've got a four burner cooktop, a single basin sink, a dishwasher, oven down below, uh, as well as an extractor fan here above the stove. Plenty of storage above, considering it's quite a small boat here, but I do have quite a bit of storage for pots and pans and whatnot. I've got nice overhead storage here, and then my refrigerator and freezer up above. My light controls are right here, uh, air conditioning, Really easy to access right when I come onto the boat, I can get lights on and adjust the temperature how I want it. And flowing in here to the salon, I've got my oversized U-shaped settee here to port. This dinette table drops down to form a day bed. I've also got this banquette storage here to starboard, uh, drawers and a cupboard there. The TV pops out on a lift here. Big, wide, open pane glass windows. No mullions. Um, this is really, uh, I'm picturing a great place to be 
uh, out at anchor. And just forward of the salon here, I've got my lower helm, which has a really great arrangement, awesome visibility from down here. This is obviously our heavy weather helm. We're not gonna be up on the flybridge in, in too heavy of weather, but I do have joystick docking here, bow and stern thrusters, uh, my Garmin electronics, and easy access to the side decks. So I just hit this button and my watertight bulkhead door opens right up. In and out of the boat quite easily here. And we'll head down below to the accommodations. And starting up forward here in the VIP, I've got this big oversized Island Queen berth. Plenty of storage throughout here. Very impressed with this cabin. I would imagine this to be a master stateroom on a 48 foot boat of this size, but this is a tremendous space. Uh, ensuite head here with privacy door. This head does have two access doors. This is the head for the VIP forward as well as the guest cabin to starboard. So very nice accommodations in here. So next is the guest cabin here to starboard. And this is a great little room for kids. Got two single berths here, nice big open hanging locker. And now we'll head back into the primary stateroom aft here, which walking in here from an elevated position, this room is incredible. What a cool feel. We've got a almost king size berth here, furniture storage to port, and to starboard, we've got a big banquette, settee, vanity forward, a lot of storage in this room, but uh, to have a full beam master, this feels like the same size primary stateroom as what we have on the 58 Serena, which is just kind of shocking, actually. This is a very impressive room uh, with a great feel to it. And then a nice big open hanging locker. Plenty of storage in the, in the room. I know we Americans love our storage. Primary stateroom definitely has that. And access to the ensuite head here. Got a stall shower, beautiful accommodations here. And then right opposite, just outside the privacy door to the master, we do have a washer dryer right here in the companionway, which is a great spot for it. And the last thing on our list is to head up to the flybridge. Another phenomenal space up here. I've got my offset helm to port, uh, same as down below, joystick docking, bow and stern thruster, my throttles, a nice bench settee here. This boat is easy to dock. I've got a port side favored docking station up here on the flybridge, starboard side down below. I'm a huge fan of the either the yacht controller or the dock mate that you wear around your neck. So you have a joystick docking wherever you are, whether you're on the swim platform or up on the bow really easy boat to handle for someone who's looking for a bigger boat in this market, but um, a little bit nervous about the docking and maneuvering um, in tight marinas, which we have all over the East Coast US. But this is just a pretty simple boat to run, you know, no more than a day uh, or two of instruction and get you out on the water quickly and easily. This 48 is a great boat for the owner operator. On the aft end of the flybridge, I have two big tables. These fold in to make one oversized dining area. And this furniture area here is just wonderful. Great space to lay out or obviously enjoy a meal up here. And then I have my whip bar here with the sink and the electric Kenyan grill. I've got a refrigerator down below for drinks, ice maker, and some storage. And then of course, this large oversized sun pad here forward and this hard top i love these led lights in the hard top this is a really cool feeling uh, area up here and up here on the flybridge after going through the whole boat i get this sensation that this walkthrough tour should have ended a long time ago this is a lot of volume for a 48 foot boat especially for what we're used to in this under 50 foot segment tons of room on this boat the primary stateroom the aft cockpit and the flybridge are sort of my highlights here after going through. Down here in the mechanical space, we've got our Cummins 550 diesels, my Cummins Onan genset back there in the corner. Really nice layout here. Huge, huge engine room, considering this is a boat under 50 feet. Um, we've got our water maker back here, center line. 
systems access all throughout. Really nice layout and our Seakeeper gyro stabilizer right here in the middle. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour of the Serena 48. If you have any questions about this 48 or any of the other Serena models, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is right below the video.